Okay, uh, one of the really important things that you need to ensure that you're regularly doing, guys, within Photoshop, uh, most certainly to speed up your workflow, uh, but also just to make sure that everything is nice and neat and tidy in your layer area. In fact, let me just drag this out so you can see it for yourselves, guys. Um, is naming layers, grouping layers, linking layers, and just using the layer properties available to you to the absolute maximum. So what I'm gonna do is just very quickly show you how to use some of the properties available within Photoshop um, really effectively. So I've got the Step Brothers logo here. I've already got um, my cropped out image of Will Ferrell, um, having shown you how to use that, um, the tools available to you in Photoshop Quick Selection tool and advanced hair selection options within the masking area. I'm actually, what I'm just gonna do is make sure I'm on the layer first. In order to work with layers in Photoshop, you need to make sure you are literally on that layer. In terms of layer ordering, if I move that layer below, you'll see that literally the layer of Will Ferrell is on top of the Step Brothers lo logo itself. So that's probably the best way to remember it, guys. So Will Ferrell, I'm going to rename. I'll just show you how to do that again. So you literally just double click on layer one. I'm going to call it Will Ferrell. And I'm going to call this layer logo. Background, at the moment you can see there is a padlock next to it. In order to make this an editable layer, you actually physically need to rename the layer. And what you'll see is when I rename this layer, and I'm going to call it background again, this padlock will disappear like so. Okay, so now we have three layers that we can actually work with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first and foremost bring this Step Brothers logo back to the top. I'm going to use the Magic Eraser tool just to get rid of uh, the white that I don't really need anymore. Just very quickly, I wouldn't recommend doing this all the time. I would only do this if you were going to be using uh, maybe some of the um, certificate logos. So if I go back into Chrome, I can type in, let's say, the 15 certificate logo, which will be available in the public drive, guys. So I'm just going to literally copy and Command V or Control V on the uh, kit on the PC for pasting uh, quickly, you'll see that there's a white edge around the edge of the actual certificate itself. So the best thing to do, again, I'm going to use good working habits. I'm going to rename that layer again, certificate, like so, and using the magic eraser tool. Made a mistake there. I went to erase the background on certificate, but I was still on logo. So make sure again, you're always on those layers. Just gonna get rid of those unwanted areas. I'm gonna resize by pressing Command T, always holding down the Shift key, always resizing from a corner so that I don't warp or pixelate that image in any way, shape or form. And I'm then gonna use the Move tool, which if I highlight over the toolbar here, you'll see that the shortcut is V. So I just press V to get that back up. I'm just going to move that down here. Okay. Step Brothers at the moment is still a little bit in the way of Will Ferrell's face. So I'm just going to nudge that down using the arrow key. And what you'll see is I'm nudging that down. There are still areas that need to be erased. So I'm going to go back into that area and just get rid of some of those unwanted white areas. Okay. Not perfect, but we'll certainly do at the job for showing you how to use uh, some of the layer properties available to you in Photoshop. If you do make a mistake, so if I click inside there and I think, oh, I don't want to do that, you've got two options, Command Z to undo, or you can go to Window and History, and you can retrace your steps. So for example, here, you'll see that, that inside that R logo, the white's still there, and then all of a sudden it disappears before, after. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. So the next thing I'm going to show you to do uh, is how to link layers. I'm going to link all three of these layers here. In order to do that, you must click the layer at the top that you wish to um, link with the other layers. So there's three layers in total here. Hold down the shift key, which is that arrow key near the control key. Click the bottom layer. Right click or control click. And you're going to link layers. So that when I go back into here, you'll see that all of these layers now move together. Okay. I'm going to show you how to group layers. Group layers is very, very simple. You can right click 
and you can actually, um, more often than not, there is a grouping layer option here, or if you go up to here, there's a group layers option, but I'm actually gonna get into the habit of using, and I want you to as well, guys, use the shortcut keys within Photoshop, Command G. So Command G means that you can group those layers, and I'm gonna call these layers Will Feral Layers, okay? And if I click on that drop-down arrow, you'll see that all the layers that I've just linked together are inside of that folder that I've just created. The other option that you have, if you wanted to create one flattened merge layer, and you know a, a big, big warning well in advance, guys, once you do this, and if you save your document and revisit it, that it will be final. There's nothing you can do to rectify this. So make sure, if you are gonna be merging layers, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you do, that you are very certain that you've kind of finalized those layers. You most certainly should not um, merge text layers in particular because that will rasterize the layer straight away and it means that you won't be able to edit any of those layers at all. But I'll show you how to do it anyway because it can be quite handy if, say for example, I'm just gonna unlink these layers here again. I'm gonna go with the logo. I'm gonna move that down nearer to the age certificate. I've just noticed there's bit inside the P that I want to get rid of, inside that B as well, a little bit better than before, perfectionist that I am. I'm going to link these two layers again, and I'm going to merge these layers. So again, it's shift key, highlight the layers, merge layers, and you'll notice now it's one whole layer. So I can rename that certificate and name of film. Again, getting into a really good habit. But I would say avoid that if you can, or check with your teacher um, before you do that, guys. So just a quick run through again. I've shown you how to name layers, group layers, link layers, and merge layers. Give it a go for yourselves, guys, and best of luck.